end of the day, when I those people go to write their check, it's more money than it was last year. Property taxes are a continuing debate in Cass County. For many, they keep going up, and people are not happy about it. The city says it has actually lowered the mills. But because property valuations went up for many of us, it didn't matter. We're still having to pay more. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric looks at the latest wrinkle in this issue. Property taxes are forcing at least five couples from their homes. They couldn't make it to Monday night city commission meeting, so their friends stepped up to the microphone for them. And those people are being forced to move out of their house and out of it, this community and away from the families to a place that doesn't have the services that this place has only because they can't afford to live here anymore. Ron Gilmore's passion was evident as he laid into the city commissioners. The system is broken and you guys are patting yourself on the back thinking that you've done a great job because you lowered our mill levies. Take the money that you're giving away if you want an increase. His argument is that people on a fixed income, like the elderly, keep having to dole out more money for health care and medications, and now property taxes. But they're not getting an increase in, say, their Social Security. We're doing the best to, to keep spending as tight as we can, but, it's, but on the flip side, we're a growing town. We want to have law enforcement, fire department, all those things, so it's a challenge. So should you or your loved one be in a similar situation, encourage them to check out the homestead credit for the elderly or disabled. It's for people on a fixed income. You have to be at least 65 years of age or older, and your income has to be less than $42,000 per year from things like Social Security and pensions. In Fargo, Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. We tried reaching out to Ron Gilmore today. We are un unable to track him down. We've posted links to the City of Fargo resources online. Just click on this story at our website at valleynewslive.com.